Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Heavy Shot, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Larry Smith outdoors this adventure. He has no clue what's going on today. When you're crossing the barbed wire fence, we're doing it the right way. You walk up, one guy takes the gun, take the gun for me. Always hold on the gun on these barbed wire fence, guys. Oh my gosh. You good? Ew, man. Once you're on the other side, right? You guys all learn something for safety, then the guy hands you gun back. Well, I'm putting a mojo here, and the flash of the white actually gets them attracted to that. That's what brings them in more than the brown or the green on them or gray. So hopefully we whack them and stack them today. All right, we're with Chad Hawk today. Where are we? We're in northern Wisconsin? Northern Wisconsin here. We're on a dove hunt. We got the kids out. What's the game plan? What are we doing? Uh, the doves are roosting behind us? The doves are roosting in this thicket behind us and uh, at night they go in there to just roost and then during the morning they'll come and find these dead top trees and the sun will beat on them. They'll warm up their blood and they'll start moving faster and faster. It's pretty much like when people say the sun has to come up before the birds have to sing. That's what they do. Yeah, because we're seeing them now. They're on the top of the trees. They're yeah. warming up. So now we're just got the kids out. We're getting ready to start pounding them down. Yesterday you saw, what, a couple hundred couple flying A couple hundred, through? yeah, 200 yeah. plus. Okay, so we're going to have fun here. We're just getting them warm them up right now. We're just starting to see, what, two or three two flying? Or, yeah. Okay, let's get ready here. We got some heavy shot, heavy metal, 12-gauge shotgun shells. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, they're the best, you know. Hey, the greatest jerky on the planet brings in everything. If these animals only knew what was in this package, look at it, I just opened up Mike's Country Meat and they're coming in thicker than hair in a gorilla right now. You guys want some Mike's? Oh, here you go. In a couple more weeks, you'll be in this package, you guys. Hey, you want some Mike's? The guillotine, the most versatile jigging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen. Programmed and customized jigging and hook setting techniques. Bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, made by Rut Finn. Trust Dalco, the manufacturer that most well-respected boat brands trust for their covers and tops. Dalco is the leading manufacturer of custom-fit boat covers, pontoon covers, bimini tops, furniture, seating, accessories, and hardware. Are you looking for a cover to replace an old and worn out cover on your older model used boat? Visit DalcoMarine.com today to find a cover that fits your boat. Use promo code Larry10 and get an additional 10% off. It's hit, it's hit. Go fetch it up, Max. God, too far. 
I need more shells, Ab. There. Get up, fetch them up. Fetch them up. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, and I smoked that sucker. <laughs> They're oh, in dead. Shot. Heavy shot, put another dove down. Nice job, Max, good job. Fetch him up, Max. That's why you have a dog. I just shot that one in the water. That dog went and got it for us. So the, Lucy just shot that one. Huh? Seriously, people, that's, seriously, people, that's why you bring a dog anytime you pretty much hunt waterfall, pheasant, stuff like that. That dog went across the river that we could have never got into and got that bird for us. Good boy, Hoss. We didn't need dog for that one. There's one. That one? She's right now. She's sending out a random text to a thousand, thousand people, hoping one boy will answer. Okay, look at this. Is my dad, and he's really annoying. <laughs> and his main specialty is to embarrass people and not shoot birds. So, don't put this in, Hunter. I'll be mad at you. Where's the decoy, Luce? Nice! Yeah, Lucy. I actually hit one! Yeah! Yep. Lucy! I'm actually proud of myself. Hey, right. give me enough of those. That was good. Okay. No, it's, it's good, right? You got it. You got it. Three. You got it? To your left, Coach. Two more. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco Premium Covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco Covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our Polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Michael from Heavy Shot, and I'm here today to talk to you about our original Heavy Shot Duck and Goose Loads with my helper, Schwoopy. Heavy Shot was designed uh, with tungsten in mind, and it is tungsten-based, high-density pellet with long knockdown range ability. And we have plenty of people out there that use our products that have documented 50, 60-yard shots. We even have guys that use Heavy Shot original duck and goose loads number six for snow geese and, and they're, they're killing them you know with 20 gauges and 12 gauges so picture this shot size number four and heavy shot at 1450 feet per second at 40 yards has 17 percent more energy than lead okay and the same shot size has 133 percent more energy than steel that's over twice the energy Okay, that's density. Okay, and then the cool thing about heavy shot with the pellets is that it's typically smaller. So you're going to shoot one size smaller than lead and three shot sizes smaller than steel. 
Well, what that does is it fills in the holes in your pattern compared to where you would be shooting steel shot. So we're giving you more pellets on target. Heavy Shot makes choke tubes, and our choke tubes are made to our shot specification. So when using a Heavy Shot choke tube, you're gonna get a better pattern than using someone else's choke tube in the marketplace because it's made to our shot specification. All Heavy Shot product is not toxic, it's safe for the environment, and safe for steel rated shotgun barrels, okay? If there's any questions, please contact our customer service or go to our website, which is heavyshot.com. Right here, right behind us, right. Nice shot. Got him out? Here's what you do when we're killing time when you're hunting, right? Dancing with your best friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Coming right here, coming in, shoot him. Oh, he got it with the over the under. Woo! Shotgun, let me use his shotgun. The mighty old shotgun. Shotgun, shotgun. The shot, my first dove with the over under. And let me tell you, it's a nice gun. As you can see, I was not prepared to shoot today. And uh, I had to wake up at four o'clock to come up here and shoot morning doves. I'm thinking, what the heck? But they're everywhere, we've probably shot 35, 40 of them already, having a blast. The girls were shooting, now they'd rather eat snacks and sleep. <laughs> but uh, it's been, been a lot of fun. Max is getting a lot of work today, chasing a lot of doves. And uh, we're gonna get back to it, here they come. Did you get that one? <laughs> Over my shoulder, did you get that? Chad, this week's tip of the week, you're in charge of we're morning dove hunting on a little field where the cows are and Cow stuff. Yeah. Yep. They're actually coming to the feed, to the water, and they're gonna roost right here behind us. And that's just, they like the wide open for the feed. So when you're hunting morning doves, when they come out of the trees and they go to feed, this is where you want to set yeah, up. There's water, right. everything's here. So it's all in one. And you've been watching this section, this spot for about a, a week now and called us up and said, we got to come shoot this. And we're at quite a few birds race. So people, when you set up, look at our mojos and stuff. The mojos are set about 20 yards away from the water. They're going to come in, they're landing right here in the grass and going over to water for, for to get some water. It's water to drink. Yep. Okay. That's your tip of the week for Mike's Country Meat. Best right here to the right. Best oh another <laughs> sorry. Sorry guys, we're <laughs> we're sort of disturbed by all the doves flying around. But that's the tip of the week. So when you guys set them up, watch them, they're always gonna go back to water after they feed. Yep. That one's dead. Abigail, you got it? So Okay, parents, when you're out hunting today, we had th four kids out here. We shot a lot of these heavy shots at doves. We got 50 doves down with six people. Make sure whatever you carry in, you carry back out. We got all the hosels. We brought our water bottles back out. Abby and Lucy and Cody have been picking everything up. The farmers, they don't like this hunting, but the more you do for them, make them happy, clean it up, is better for us. Then they will say yes to us next year. And we ask them to come back. I mean, we shot a lot and we've only been here a couple hours. So everybody remember to thank the farmer too when you leave the field, when you call them up, say thank you very much for letting us hunt, right Ab? Yep, and leave it better than it was. Yes, sir. And it's a great day to be alive on the field today. Lucy's got fingers, look at that, look at that <laughs> clean up. See? Hey, Larry Smith Outdoors, I'm Shotgun Chef. 
We are in the middle of the state of Wisconsin. Chad Hawk invited us to come out this morning and shoot some doves. I got Lucy, Freak of Nature, Cody. We got Max, our official retrieving dog, and Larry Smith Outdoors. We shot some doves today. We had a good time. We went through a lot of box of heavy shots today. Thanks, heavy shot. People, thanks for using the product. What do we do, Chad? Did we have a good time? Oh yeah, we had a heck of a time, you guys. We shot what, maybe 5% of what we saw? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Thanks for coming up. That was, yep. that was a Thanks, blast. Chad. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, yeah. And yep, everybody from Larry Smith Outdoors, keep using our product and keep watching the show. And what do you guys say when we always say? It's a great, it's a great day, day to be alive. Yeah. Larry, too bad you weren't here, buddy. <laughs> Wings over Wisconsin. A nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. All right, guys, we had a pretty good, successful day, morning dove hunting day with the kids. All you do, these things got really small pin feathers. They come off really easy. You just take your thumbs and spread them apart. You got the, the, the breast right here. I mean, you can pull the breast right off. It takes two seconds. Pull the breast off. But I'm gonna take them, I already got a couple cut up ready. We're gonna make poppers, and Hunter decided we're gonna try deep frying them like little teeny chicken McNuggets today. See how that works too. But all I'm doing is cutting right along the, the brisket here and then uh, the main bone up on top here. Separate the, it's just one little piece of tenderloin really. It's meat is awesome. It's super tender. So, but once again folks, take a couple seconds and get rid of these pin, these little pin feathers. They are so fine that they just get stuck on everything. So I'm gonna clean them all up, take a couple seconds after I wash my hand and get all the feathers off them. And we're gonna try two different recipes this afternoon. I'm trying uh, something different. I'm trying Louisiana New Orleans style fish fry on those uh, Cajun or, um, the morning doves we shot. And I got a little Creole seasoning go over the top of them. I'm trying to kick it up just a hair. See how this works. about two or three minutes is all we put them in for. And you guys all know the rule, right? As soon as it comes out, that's when you see it. It's gonna to stick to it the best. So I throw a little creole on it. See how that plates. We got another round of morning doves going down, everybody. Larry Smith is on the way home from the fishing trip. We got jalapeno popper morning doves. These other ones, you better hurry up and get here because the other ones with the Creole seasoning on them, they are going doggone fast here. Hey, see that hand just <laughs> Like you said, Hunter, this big green egg's amazing. We got uh, half of them are done already. That one's all done. What do you want? Nice little crisp on there. Using a toothpick is burnt. You know you got good, good crisp going on. I hope you guys saved some of that dub for me. Sounds like you had a lot of fun today, huh? Yeah, yeah we had really so fun. fun. Did you? Hey, you know the great part about this time of year is fish all day, you get home early enough, and you know what, bow hunting opens up this weekend, 
I'll be bow hunting pretty much every night where the winds are right for our land. But the other nice part is, you know what? The game farms are open and I love the pheasant hunt. So stay tuned. We're gonna go do a little pheasant hunting this afternoon with Larry Smith Outdoors. Hey, I'll tell you, welcome back to Larry Smith Outdoors. You know what, we decided to do a little bit of pheasant hunting. Hey, Craig, you know what? You really got a great setup out here. And you know, I think for myself, it's a great way to come out and get the dog in shape too. Yeah. And you know, and you know, the nice part about game hunting at a game farm is what? Birds. Birds? You know, you're gonna you're see gonna, birds. definitely yeah. gonna see yeah. birds. When does typically your season start? We open September 1st. Okay, and, and run it till? Run till I run out of birds. Uh, okay. I raise 8,000 birds and whenever they're gone, then I'm done. Okay, and uh, you know, at a game farm too, you don't need a license either, no, do you? No, no, no tags, no licenses, no nothing. One thing I love about coming in here, you guys really have a long driveway coming back in here. It, you know, this is a great setting here. And how many years have you guys been in business here? This is our 25th year. Okay. Yep. So it, do you sell birds by the membership or how does that all go here? It's per hunt. Uh, they can come for a hunt. Uh, they're entitled to three birds. We put out six birds per hunter just so they're sure to see them. Right. So there's plenty out there. Okay. And so you have the facility here for guys to, in the, when it's cold out, to come and warm up? And warm up. They can, uh, there's snacks in there. There's coffee, soda, popcorn. Uh, there's a bench here if they want to clean their own birds they can do that too. Okay, I'm just laughing because I'm seeing birds flying all <laughs> over the place. You you're right. definitely have a lot, a lot, a lot of birds. Yeah, the size of that rooster in the driveway. Gotta love that. Hey, I'll tell you what, Maddie, she's all excited. This is her first pheasant hunt of the season. She's like, hey, will you guys shut up and hurry up and get out there and get, and get some birds planted so I can go out there and, and flush them up? So stay tuned, let's see what happens this afternoon out here on our pheasant hunt. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'd never leave home without my heavy metal here. And the great part about heavy metal is definitely the density. I mean, it's fast and when it hits something, they fall. You're gonna see that in a couple of minutes, hopefully. Hey, Shotgun, you know, it's been a while since I've been out to a, a game farm here, and uh, thanks for inviting me here. This is, you've been coming here for how long? Uh, 14 years now. Wow, and I can see why. This is really a, a nice club. You know, there's some safety, and there, there's, you know, when you're hunting these birds here, tell us, everybody at home, the proper way to, you want to use the wind to your advantage for sure. You always try to go into the wind, because all birds, like I said, with a goose hunt stuff, they fly into the wind, but yep. if you look at a game farm like this, they have rows cut. And uh, you keep the guys, the experienced guys, usually on the outside, the guys that the dogs walk down the mill, and always stay in a straight line. And always, we, we got kids now today, you always let the bird get up. If the dog sees you, let the bird get above the dog, let it get flight, and then you shoot, because you never want to put a, a dog in jeopardy of being There's shot. There's no doubt, it's no, not no. worth it, right? And if the bird goes to the right, the guys to the right shoot, the bird goes to the left, the guys to the left shoot. That's always the way it goes, and then, uh, you know, safe is always the best. So when you stay in the line, barrels are always in front of you when you're walking, so. Right, sounds good. And the cover is awesome today, so I'm hoping the is. birds hold and there's a little bit of wind. So you know, And it's cool enough it's all cool too. Enough. We finally got some cool weather. Yep. All right, let's go see. Uh, Maddie needs to lose a little bit of weight here. <laughs> She's right? the only one. <laughs> right. Slow her down. Find bird. Oh, right here's a rooster. Get him, Maddie. Get him, Maddie. Hey, hey, yeah! Gotta love that! First bird of the year. Come on, man. Good girl. Good girl, man. Hey, here. Man, here. Good girl. Man, over. Man, over. Over here. Get him out of here. She's like, I don't want to go in there. All you guys are in there. What do you mean? What are you talking about? That's up. Huh? What do you mean? How many shots do you have in that gun, Larry? Is Max going to get it? I hope so. That's up. How is that even fair? What are you talking about? How is that even fair? What are you guys talking about? How many did you load back into it? Come on, Manny. Here. Come on. Isaac, get ready. 
Oh, whatever, dude. I had that bird. I waited for you guys to unload your gun. Full down. I saw Larry and then I don't see the camaraderie about it. Everybody says they shot it and everybody's fighting a who did get it. Well, I know who shot it. I did. Come here, man. Come here, big boy. Come here. I think Isaac got that one. Never go hunting or fishing without your repellent. And I'll tell you, this stuff by Sawyer is absolutely prime. Keeps away the mosquitoes and the ticks. And I'll tell you, well, when it's this warm, look at look at all the mosquitoes. Give me some air. You got you. it, buddy. Woo, look at look yeah, at them all. Know. Now look at nothing. Yeah, nothing. That is, that's a great product, so you want to make sure you check that out. Nice shot, Isaac! That's right. That's right. Nice job. What a great way to start the season off. I'll tell you what, Craig, we had an absolutely great. awesome time out here. Yeah. You know, if people want to come out here, how many acres do you actually have here? I mean, as far as I can see, you have some of the best cover that I think I've ever seen on a, on a shooting preserve. We have 400 acres total, but probably 160 of it is hunting. Okay. I mean, they can go on into the woods if they want. We don't plant there, obviously, but they can certainly go in there and retrieve them. Hey, if people want to come on out and enjoy what we got to experience this afternoon, tell everybody at home how they can do it. Sure, just give us a call at 608. 297-7104, make a reservation. Lone Oak Shooting Preserve. You know, you guys are open September 1st till what? Till we run out of birds, probably about the end of March. Okay, you wanna definitely give them a call. Hey, and don't forget to check out our new contest we have going here, our Beckman Net Contest this week. And remember, like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Connor, if you edit this out, I'm gonna be mad. Walk this way, Mr. Dove. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Dove. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. Yes, I think he had it on, right? No. Oh, God, are you kidding me? You gotta hit the top button. No. No. Here comes the dove right here. Oh, crap. Rick, you keep feeding the shells. You be the, like this. I just reach over and grab another shell out of your pocket. I need a shell. Larry, what's wrong with your dog? I think she's a little out of shape. Maddie, I'm cutting you back.